Hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics for Primary 4. This is me, Teacher Jen again. And we are still in decimals focusing on thousands. Let's start. A quick recap from our previous video. We understand what decimal is. We discuss tenths and hundreds place values and engage more in its examples. Now, let's move on to the next place value, thousands. Look at this sample figure. Can you count how many parts are there? What fraction does it represent? This figure comes from a hundred part that was divided into 10 to make it 1,000 equal parts. This is 1 over 1,000 or 0 0.001. We read it as 1,000. Speaking about thousands, please. Can you tell me what is a decimal represented by these number disks? Right. We write it as 0 0.004, adding all 0 0.001. We read this as 4 thousandths. Thousands place has three decimal places. Let's have another example. Look at this picture. What decimals represented by the numbered disks? Excellent. It's 22.044, or we read it as 22 and 44 thousandths. In 0 0.158, the digit 8 is in what place? Great. It's in the thousands place. So, it has a value of 0 0.008. Quite easy, right? <laughs> Let's do an activity. Convert these fractions in decimals. Well done. 713 over 1000 is equal to 0 0.713. What about the second item? That's right. It's 4.019. Good work, everyone. Moving on to our last activity, look at this line. What are the decimals shown by the arrows? Express each decimal as a fraction.
You are right. The first arrow represents 6.247. That is equal to 6 and 247 over 1,000. How about the second arrow? Good! It represents 6.255. That is equal to 6 and 255 over 1,000. And the last one is? Awesome! That is 6.262, that is equal to 6 and 262 over 1,000. Good job, everyone. I think you are now ready. Before you do the exercises on your book, here are some tips for you. Remember, a decimal number has a whole number part and a fractional part separated by a decimal point. In decimal, tens place has one decimal place, hundreds has two decimal places, and in thousands, it has three decimal places. Be careful of the position of the decimal point in your answer. Make sure to write correctly the decimal number in words and don't forget to write thousands on the last word. Now, please answer your book on page 99 to 101. Enjoy learning! See you next time!